Peel Pan is that you can play just about any genre on it. And this morning, as we continue to celebrate World Steel Pan Day and World Steel Pan Month, I said it, here on the Now Morning Show, I'm joined by Keon Batiste, the panist that started the morning right. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know there are lots of people that tune in just for our entertainment segment, so you really started off somebody's day real good with a little Latin music. That was thoroughly enjoyable, so thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I feel like if I didn't stop you, you'd continue. You were finessing, you did the, the lead vocals, you did the backups, everything on that one, so turn up and is your sweet pan. Yeah, for now. For now? Yeah, I like the cello a little bit, but you know. Really? I was a woman on the bass back in my school oh. days, so I am not partial to the front line. <laughs> but that means that you do play pan continuously throughout the year. Not just for steel pan month. Who do you play with? I play with Nutrient Services mm -hmm. and also UE Art Steel. Makes absolute sense. Now, in terms of the pan playing aspect of your life, how long have you been doing that? Is that a new addition or is it something you've been doing for a while? Um, I have been playing pan for how long? I'm 23 years old. Uh, Carry the one. 15 years. <laughs> Do the math. All right, <laughs> nice. And if you were to give advice to someone who is considering adding pan playing to their list of items that they, uh, you know, do in life. Would you strongly suggest it? How has it enhanced your life? Or is it really a burden? Be honest. <laughs> well, it's not really a burden, right? I would actually encourage anybody to go and try to pick up steel pan. Um, it could be a stress reliever. It could also be the one thing that you do that would bring all the wild side. Because, you know, you see a pan is walking down your road and they're looking like, you know, they back, um, something going on their back, <laughs> foot it in them. When they reach on stage, they could jump left, right, climb up on top of a rock, do the whole of things. I feel this is some confession. <laughs> that is good for the soul. So I'm not even going to fight you at that one. But it's definitely something that you enjoy doing. Now, World Steel Pan Day, oh, sorry, Steel Pan what? Month here in Trinidad and Tobago is continuously celebrated through the month of August. And that means we're going to have performances and occasions that we see most of our talent. Will you be making appearances anytime soon? Uh, yes, I will be making an appearance in, sorry, on Pan on the Avenue. Nice. With my band, Nutrient Silver Stars, of course. Okay, okay. But if we wanted solo performances, how do we connect with you? Uh, you can either message me on music.kiba on Instagram. Again, that's music, spelled like music. Right. Dot Kiba, K-E-B-A-P. Right, an abbreviation or, of your names. Yes. Oh, you can contact me via WhatsApp. 351-4439. Now, put, put any business out in the road, because you said 15 years of playing pan. Does any of that involve teaching or perhaps tutoring and mentoring? Yes. Actually, while I was in secondary school, I would have been um, teaching at St. Margaret's All right, for about three years. I'll be teaching primary school students from first year all the way up to standard three. And one or two times throughout, so far after that, I would have bounced up one or two people who would have learned, well, one, sorry, one to learn, mm -hmm. and I would have helped them achieve that goal. Ooh, so private lessons are an option. Yes. In terms of connecting with you. And as much as you say you, you kind of like the guitar pan, which pan have you not played? Is there any single one? Quads. Well, quadraphonics, mm -hmm. actually. Okay. Which I consider one of the most hardest pans to play, especially during the panorama season. What do you mean? That's the fun. Pods. What do you mean four? Which is, yeah, yeah, it is four. It's just that it's set up like this. Correct. Two here and Way two up here. So, you know, it's a lot of... <laughs> so you're fighting the four, but you've played, what, six? You've played nine as I've well? I've played six so far. Mm, all right, all right. Well, I have one up on you because I, <laughs> I love me some quads. I love the four bass. I love the uh, six bass. I, as I tell you, a woman on the bass. And I think generally, one of the things that a lot of people don't get is the dynamics of the pan. So let's talk genres. You started off with some Latin flair. Is there a particular genre that you prefer to play on the steel pan? Uh, I actually prefer to play calypso. Really? Something about how calypso songs are naturally composed just layers well on the steel pan to me. When you talk about naturally composed, does that mean you actually compose pieces yourself? Uh, not composed, but I got a range. Okay. And in terms of arranging, let's describe what the climate is like now leading up to those performances in celebration of World Pan Day. How much pressure are you under? <laughs> what is the <laughs> routine like? How much practice time are we looking at? Uh, so usually at Silver Stars, we would practice three days for the week which would have been Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm. But as these events are so close, mm -hmm. we have not practicing every day, Monday to Friday. Oof. 
Well, consider this some practice then, because you <laughs> actually are going to take us to the top closing of the show today with some beautiful steel pan as we continue celebrating Will Steel Pan Day here on the Now Morning Show. Of course, before, well, after that rather, we have news at the top with Roxy Suraj, but on behalf of Kimberly D'Souza, Natasha Lake, and the entire team here at the Now Morning Show, have a happy Tobago Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you.